So the race-based lawsuit that fried Paula Deen's cooking empire is now tossed out of court. Former restaurant manager Lisa Jackson sued Paula Deen and her brother Bubba, claiming she was subjected to racism and sexual harassment at the family's two restaurants in Savannah, Georgia. But a federal judge dismissed the case, saying at best, Lisa was an accidental victim of discrimination. That's a quote. So let's break it down with Jada. Jada, Lisa claims she was subjected to it because she's a dark-skinned Sicilian and was uncomfortable in the racist environment. What do you think about that? Well, uh you know, Morgan, when I think about this, we know that, yes, does discrimination continue to happen? Yes. And was it accidental? Maybe. But at the end of the day, what this really is, is we have a problem with having an awareness of cultural correctness in our society. And the reality is we're not going to go around suing people because we felt discriminated against, right? Right. Mostly <laughs> we just deal with it. But I think that's another thing people don't really realize is still happening right now. Discrimination does still exist. It does. And here again, you know, I was just in a, a store the other day and I told everyone here in the office, I said, you know what, I had someone following me because I believe it was my skin color. And she watched me and watched me and I said, this is still happening in 2013. I think what we need, Morgan, is an education uh, class to overcome cultural ignorance because at the yeah, core I agree. of what this is, <laughs> it's a cultural ignorance and we need to be educated. I agree. Thanks for that, Chita.